What is the best way to make your Minecraft look fantastic? Oh, these shade shaders. It's shade. Get the pun. Oh, it's dumb. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. One of the questions I have been asked since the beginning of the channel is, how do I install shaders? I want to install some sort of shaders mod to make my Minecraft look fantastic. And I looked into this a few years back, but it was super complicated. Everything changed based off of what, what, graphics card you had, what processor you had. I mean, it was super duper complicated. Nowadays, it has gotten a lot simpler. You do need a beefy computer with a nice graphics card in order to run shaders. And there are still some finicky bugginess with specific drivers for your graphics processor. So sometimes this tutorial may not work out because there are just specific things wrong with specific pieces of hardware or maybe Maybe your computer isn't beefy enough to handle it. But with that said, let me jump in to showing you a little bit about shaders. So this is the shader version that we will be using and that in fact most people use. Uh, what this uses uh, is a very old uh, shader uh, era. This uh, Dan, I, I'm not going to be able to say these usernames. I'm so I so apologize. Uh, but Dax Nitro's uh, GL SL shaders mod, which has now been updated by Carionix. Carionix, uh, Car Carionix, um, and it, this is what everyone uses. Now, good news is that if you're using Minecraft or you're going to be using Minecraft 1.8.9, all of this has been added to Optifine. If you're using one of the older versions of Minecraft, you will go through this page. But that means that we just head on over to Optifine.net and download this for ourselves, which is also very exciting to me because the installation process is basically one click. You go ahead and download this. Now, before we play with Optifine, there's one more step that we need to do, and that are shader packs. You will want a shader pack in order to uh, make your shaders better. And there's a whole bunch of different shader packs. You can see them all. Each of these have links to where you can find out more. I'm going to go ahead and use this one uh, because it's compatible with most things, I think. And it looks, I mean, it looks really good. I'm going to use the Vibrant shaders just like this. So hopefully my game will look something similar to that. Uh, this is the one vibrant shaders at high is the one that I will use, but you may have to use something different. Uh, install this or uh, download this and uh, then I'll show you the next steps. Now back to Optifine, you've downloaded it, you've clicked install and now you are going to go into your Minecraft launcher. And if you've installed it, you should have this Optifine profile drop down. Uh, go ahead and click play and it opened up on my other window here and then click quit because that will create a folder for you in your Minecraft folder. Uh, this is you're going to want to go to your app data roaming and, and dot Minecraft folder. I like to favorite over here. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to get to this area. Now this folder has been created shader packs. You're going to double click this and paste your uh, download for, that you got from over here into that shader packs area. Now we can open up Minecraft for real this time with the shader pack installed. And let's jump into a different game capture that is just Minecraft. Boop. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to go to options, video settings. Optifine gives us lots more video settings. You can see details, performance, animations, other. There's all sorts of stuff in here that Optifine gives us, as well as a new shaders button. If you click this, you have three different levels. You have off, you have the internal, or the one that you just installed. So that's great. By the way, if you're having trouble getting that shaders uh, area, you could just run Optifine the Optifine version of Minecraft and click this shaders folder and it will open up the folder where those are hidden. 
We're going to say done and done because we already have it selected and we're going to jump into the world that's now become basically my texture pack show off world. And you can see that there are shaders definitely installed. Holy mackerel, everything looks super great. Just to show what this looks like with them off. Let's go turn shaders off. Done, done. Normal Minecraft. Yeah, it looks good, looks good. Back into options, video settings, shaders, shaders on. We are done with that. And wow, does this look amazing. You can even change a lot of the options in the shaders. Like right here, we have these this very wavy grass. I've already turned off wavy leaves because I didn't really like that so much. You could turn on or off wavy fire. Uh, there's, I mean, I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. Look at this wavy water. Uh, it said something like wavy items. I think I turned that one off. I don't know. Let's look. Uh, it just looks like an item to me. Uh, you can see the different bloom effects, which is that, uh, or the sun rays coming in through here. That, oh my gosh, that looks so uh, amazing. We can fly up. You, we should be able to have uh, some sort of shadow here. Where's the sun going? Is the sun leaving me? Don't leave me, sun. Oh my gosh. Um, no, I don't see, I don't really see a good shadow. I Or maybe there's just too much land for me to see. There we go. Now we have some shadows. I, I changed the time of day. You can see the, <laughs> the sun, I guess, was just going down before. Uh, but you can see shadows moving. You can see my own shadow on the ground here. Oh my gosh, this just looks absolutely amazing. So now that shaders are built into Optifine, it makes the install process so much more easier. You basically just have to get a shader pack, put it into that shader pack uh, folder, and there you go. Uh, once again, I do want to show off that you do have options uh, inside of here. So if you wanted a different waving object, let's turn those on. Uh, you can turn that on and look, oh my gosh, these leaves wave. I didn't really love that so much. Uh, but you can change that for yourself. So I hope that now shaders are much easier for you to install and use. If you're able to get it to work, it really does make your Minecraft game look a lot better. There are a lot of options for people out there, so it can get very complicated. In the description below, there are links to everything that I talked about so you can find them there for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you are feeling about this episode. And if you want future episodes, make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash OMGCraft is the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.